G'day, fellas, and welcome to the next episode of World Record Sacred Site 1v7 time. Let's uh, let's try and get ourselves a nice little victory today. We've got a single villager in the middle, a single sacred site to control. Can we do it? We're up against a Conqueror 3 player today. That is going to be Myriad playing the Juicy Legacy, arguably the best FFA civilization there is in the game at the moment, at least uh, definitely feels that way. Now, we want to try and find the sacred site. That's what we need to do. And then we need to find gold. There's the sacred site. Now we need to find gold and we need to find uh, food that is near that sacred site. Ideally, we just want to find the food. Uh, but if we just find gold, gold works as well. I'm, a, I'm okay with gold. Uh, looks like we've got ourselves a gold. Can we find some food here as well? It's a little bit of food. A little bit of food. Maybe I can throw down my sacred site right here. I like it. Oh, look at all that food. Absolutely fine. I will take that. It's not going to be the fastest age up here. We're at 40 seconds. Uh, yellow does spot us out here as well. Let's look to get our king in. Definitely seems to be a bit of a weirder map. I will say that much. It, it's a little bit hilly back here. Uh, but uh, we've got ourselves sheep around the TC. We've also got some deer. Oh. Sorry, some berries. But we've also got some deer. Uh, so I'm thinking we might just run out to the deer. We've also got gold right next to it. I kind of like this little spot here. This is not a bad spot. So we throw our mining camp here. Oh, look at this. Sheep. Okay, okay. This is good. This is good. Uh, Arkan goes down on the stone. Not bad. Not bad. This is good. This is good. This is very good. Okay, I think we're in with a chance on this one. Um, so it's going to be... Arkan will be down here. Ragnets is going to be somewhere around here. In the middle, we're just going to be putting our um, our landmark. And then we're just going to be walling it in. Maybe a couple of outposts as well. And that's going to be it. And then we'll also put up just some extra little walls around the place. Around the joint. Uh, and that's pretty much going to be it. Now, we could just stay on sheep here. And just go like full sheep and then expand out to deer. Maybe that's the play. And Oh, let, let's do that. And we'll rush the Arkan over here. We'll rush the Arkan. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. All right. Let's do it. All right, everyone. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, please start over here. And let's get our prelate here. All right. So we've got lots of sheep in the middle of the map. Uh, town center down at 2 minutes and 10. Not the best time, I'm going to be honest, but it's it's okay. It's all right. Um, so we'll send our scout here. He'll loop around, grab these sheep down here, and then come back around. Um, and we'll worry about these deer a little bit later. All right. Oh, look at that. That was a really, really good timing. We just saw red right there. Okay, and I think there was just a whole bunch more out over here. So we want these nice and close, and let's get you guys onto the gold. Alright, here we go. So Arkan Chapel is going to be very, very nice here. So the smack bang in the middle of everything, except for wood. Wood always is a bit difficult in the middle. We do have these stragglers nearby. These should honestly just be fine. I think we can just go full straggler. Let's not worry about it. Let's not fuss. Um, so houses, we're probably going to want at the back like this. Jeez, that was quick. That was very quick to get through those. Let's eat all those sheep. We see more. We see purple. Look like purple. Not 100% on that one. So we've already got two relics, which is nice. Two relics in the middle. Uh, already got a lot of food coming through. Let's add a few more. Maybe one more vill onto gold for the moment. Now, red was over this side, so there's probably not going to be too many sheep. I don't know what the hell this is doing here. Red, didn't didn't I literally see you on that standing on that sheep? How did he not get that? I wonder. Okay, so, yeah, this is feeling good. As, as I said, we're up against Myriad. He's a pretty decent player. Uh, Conqueror 3. I think he's actually, like, more than Conqueror 3. Like, maybe pushing Conk 4. I'd have to double check, though. Uh, but there's red now. So... We'll wave to him. I think we go drop off our... Are we not supervising over here? Let's get our supervision up here. One more, one more, one more. I hate to say it. You really hate to say that. Close. No idea what anyone's talking about here, buddy. Uh, so if I do go Arkan here, it doesn't really give me much value other than just getting to castle quickly, right? If I go for Arkan down here, it also gives me a food source. I don't really care about Arkan either, so if I lose it, it's not a big deal. Um, and I get to boost my stone, which is pretty important for me. Um, 
So that's my main thinking here. So maybe let's... Do we just rush it? I feel like maybe we just rush it. Let's get a whole bunch of bills down here. We are... That's not good. We're a little bit short here. Blue's already here. Don't need to add blue. Just, just chill, bro. All right, just chill. Bruce is here. Ark and Chapel. Boom. Okay, add in a couple more. I think we can probably add in even one more after this. Fuck, he's up early. Boom. That's the juicy legacy player though, I guess. Uh, Tower of Victory coming in. Relic pretty close. Not too fussed about it, but I do suspect he's going to look to try and challenge me on this sacred site. Let's do our last little bit of inspiration down here. Then we can move down. This is a good little spot, actually. We are going to need... Actually, I might keep these villages back here just to go on wood for a little bit, because we're going to need... Uh, we're going to need to gather up wood. Definitely going to need to gather up wood here. Oh, shit, you need to be down here. Shit, shit, shit. So we're the second players up. And... There's that one, and let's get a house down. Maybe we'll go for this straggler tree. Probably a bit too many on the straggler tree. Like, what else do we really need right now? That's all we really need. We'll, we'll worry about this later. Here he has reached the feudal age. So let's take this down. So we just need... I think we just need... A little bit of wood for... This one as well, but that we don't even need that right now. What are we? What are we even on wood for then? Realistically, like, I don't know why we're on wood here. I'm just gonna pull off right now. Uh, we also want to get more prelates out. How many relics have we spotted so far? We spotted one, two relics, three. This one here. Good luck taking it off him. He's already feudal. He knows what he's doing. I'm not playing against one of these other guys. Um, let's get a couple more vills onto gold. Just because we want to get more prelates out. We don't need our prelate out right now, but we want to kind of get an idea on where we're sitting at with our gold. Let's come back through this middle area, because there's still, like, there, there's places that we haven't really discovered that might have relics. Like, this whole north side could be very, very relic-y, which we like. Mm, I gotta be careful here with my macro. I gotta make sure I've got the right amount of vills on this. We do spot yellow. Hello, please give us a donation. See, this is where it would have been nice to have the vills under the TC. Random vills out here. More, more scouts. Okay. Do we go for a prelate here? I feel like we probably could do a prelate here. Where am I putting regnets? I could just throw regnets down anywhere. Like, it's not a huge deal, because... Let's go for that instead. Let's just throw regnets here. You're going to go stand on the sacred site? No, you're going to go stand on the sacred site. You're going to come up here. Okay. Okay, decent so far. Let's go. That's feudal age there. Let's 
Mary had just reached the castle age. He's going to let me have the relic. Hmm. Let's just keep this here for now. Where are we going to get wood from? Like, this is our nearest wood? Here? Only one sacred. Just taking for gold. Take sight if you like. What? I'm just getting relics. I'm expanding to to west side now right now, lol. I have second TC. Spring in placement. Let's get more food up here. That's gonna be fucking annoying if he's beating me with this stupid stick. So he's to the south. Where did he go? Oh, he's right there. Will, will this hit him? Oh, it's so close. Oh, I just realized we don't have a prelate in here. Shit. Stone, we've got more stone up here. So we beat him to a lot of the relics. We've got three relics. Actually, that's... Do we need that food? I don't think we need that food. We're kind of... We've got three sheep here. Where am I putting this lumber camp? Oh, that's perfect, actually. He's idle on that. Is he attacking my vills? I think he is. Yep. Okay, a little bit of walls out here. So he's got two relics in here. I'm gonna fucking- I'm gonna move these relics. Yeah, I'm, I gotta move these relics right now. He's fucking gonna come for them. Okay, alright. This is getting a little bit intense, not gonna lie. As I said, if he takes out the regnets, not even mad. Pretty shitty position to put it, but... What can you do? Okay. Not terrible. I'm very, very tense right now. I can feel myself. I don't want to put Springwood emplacement on this one. I'm just going to wait for a cannon emplacement. Let's drop a market down as well. I don't want to put my market there. I want to put it on this side. And Elsbach is going to go here. I kind of want to delete this, actually, now that I think about it. So I can fit a stone wall in between. Let's 
Bäumen überleben. Hm. I'll just leave it. What soll getan werden? Gang aber nach Gehäst. Sie hortet alle. Ich werde das für dich errichten. We need a siege workshop. I don't need my market inside here. I can just like throw it on the outside somewhere. Just over here. I do want to have a gate as well. There's, there's three people facing this way though, so... Four minutes till we lose, guys. Take the site. There's nothing on it. Whoa, 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 hurry, hurry, hurry. Cannon emplacement. Gazi Raiders. Oh, come on, I want to get my sub-20 minute timer. That was really bad by me. I shouldn't have moved these vills. You think you're pausing timer, but you're not. Bro, this one fucking mistake actually just cost me so much. Okay, there we go. Okay, fucking hell. God, that was a mistake, wasn't it? Jesus. God, that hurt me really bad on that timer. Let's get our king over here. I just realized we haven't even used our king ability. Let's pop that now. I kind of just want to get a Rax as well in here. Can we fit a Rax in here? I don't know if we can. Let's just rally a couple of Prelates over here. Let's get our upgrades. Okay, that's fine. Can't fit a Rax in here. As long as our market's alive, we'll be okay. We don't want to make any more Prelates. Keeps coming up here. That's two minutes. All right, we're up against Myriad. Keep that in mind. Oh, shit. Want to buy as much wood as we can right here. We don't have much stone. Maybe we need a little bit of stone here. Just to help repair. Nah, he'll die, says Myriad. Okay, we'll see. Let's get inside. Uh, what did we want? We wanted stone. Okay. Oh, cannons. Fuck, he's got cannons. Oh, shit.
Oh, that's a lot of units. Those bombards fucked me up so bad, dude. How did they fucking... Dude, the juicy legacy player just literally went fast imp and made like seven bombards, dude. Oh, that's kind of wild. 36 seconds. Oh, we're not going to hit the world record. Dude, those bombards literally did it. Uh, I don't think we can pull it off. Oh, my lord. It was so close, dude. Those bombards single-handedly held me back. Oh, how can I have beaten the bombards? I mean, it's a classic case of culverin, right? Like, I should have got culverin out. But then... Do I go culverin and then I rush a gate up when he's attacking? Maybe that's the play. I, I get... I pull... I, I, there's no way I can beat, like, five bombards, though. It's that, like, that's, that's not happening. It was a good attempt here by us. I'm, I'm pretty happy with how this attempt went. Um... Well played by Boom. Well played by Boom. I mean, he knew what was up. Uh, if I could give my king to somebody right now, it would be to Purple, just because I feel like he definitely deserves it after that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get him out safe, though. Pink's finally joined the party here. All right, Pink. Let's see if you can be quick enough to snag the king. Oh, Green's realized. Oh, no. I don't know who got me. I, you, you don't know. You don't know. It doesn't tell you. It just says that you've been eliminated. That's it. You don't You don't get the full info. Oh, man. I can't believe... Dude, who is this guy who's just like, you know what? I'm just going to go straight to Imperial Age and just get Bombards. Like, how did they coordinate that? That is incredible, dude. Like, he was... You know the part that gets me, that, that makes me a little bit sus that, like, they might have been in Discord? The fact that Myriad is like... Look at, look at Myriad, dude. Co commanding. The fact that, like... So this, this was orange, right? No, this was purple, purple. Okay, so not talking in chat. Oh, hold on, no, we got a little bit here together. I opened the wall. Okay, uh, you know what? No, they, they're talking, okay. Pink is in his own world. Nah, he'll die together. I opened the wall. Go, 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 go. Kill his villas. Don't kill each other. Nice, lol. Kill B first. Um, it just seemed very strange because mi m almost like Myriad knew that the wall would be open. Like he, he didn't make a single unit other than like actual units, right? There wasn't a battering ram. There wasn't any siege. What stopped him from just turning up at that sacred site and the wall is just sitting there? It wasn't until the very end that that player said, I will open the wall. Do you know what I mean? And that's the part where it makes me like a little bit sus. I mean, I know I shouldn't be, but I can't help it, right? Like he had no idea. There, there was no way that he knew that the, the walls would just naturally be open for him when he gets there. If it wasn't for those bombards, we 100% won that game. I mean, the bottom side had been opened but we can block with all of our buildings and stuff. Like, there's no way he they can get through from the bottom side. That's completely covered off. Like, town center, uh, the houses, we just stick vills in there, and that's it. Um, but obviously, it didn't matter, because it's all about the top side. Let's go and have a look at this. This was a pretty good one. Obviously, when you've got people in the lobby that are decent, I want to I want to check. Let's have a look. So, we know that we're up against, uh, we're up against Myriad. But I want to see. So, there was also in that lobby was Boom. And I want to see how good that, that boom gentleman was. So where were the relics? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So purple just gets insane relic luck. One, two, three. Just right there. I mean, he's kind of central, so it makes sense. Uh, so there's myriad. So boom's pretty good. 1149. So only a plat two. So they definitely weren't communicating, right? Like these guys aren't friends. If, if boom was like, you know, if boom was conqueror of three and was had 46 team games with Myriad, then I'd be like, ah, knew it. Uh, he's, he's ranked 25, Conquer at the moment. 1,900 points. This guy's good, right? Uh, but yeah, I'm just, I'm impressed that he just knew the wall would be open. He, he just walked, he waltzed in. Timed it well. Did, oh, see, this is where I'm thinking like, how do we keep our walls alive? See, I, I feel like I probably wasn't paying enough attention. I, I think I definitely want to get Siege down as soon as the walls come up. I felt the timing was pretty good there. The Sacred Site... We almost... Oh, we almost had that one. 
I was happy with this Arkan placement. I didn't know where Myriad spawned. I kind of thought he'd be at the top side. I didn't expect him to be at the bottom. But he went for a fast castle as well. How much faster were we into the castle age than him? Oh, it was pretty quick, actually. So he's only putting the Shaolin, Mon oh, he's putting the Shaolin Monastery down now. And we're like, what? A third of the way through. So it's pretty close on this age up timing. The difference is we've got prelates already out, already in position, already sitting on top of relics. So he's like, obviously very sad because, you know, he gets he gets denied all these relics. And I think he's seen... Yeah, he's seen both. Oh, dude. Oh, he did. He goes double scout. Okay. He does go double scout opening. Interesting that he does that. Hmm. I feel like double scout is definitely the right call um, when it comes to FFA. Uh, where are we? We're over here. B. So we start taking the sacred site immediately. I don't think this one comes in before 10 minutes, though. And it needs to be before 10 minutes if I want to get it. Because it takes, what, 30 seconds to capture a sacred site? I think that's it. He, he could have got me right there. I don't know why he didn't. I, I can't wall a lolly. He will kill me. Castle Age comes through and Sacred Sight. Yeah, so Sacred Sight wasn't even going to be a sub 10. So it wasn't even going to be a world record attempt from the get-go. And is that just because, like, we got this down pretty early, didn't we? No, I don't think we did, actually, now that I think about it. I don't think we did. So Sacred Sight's captured. Let's speed it up now. Why did that... That felt so late that we got that. So... Maybe I need to do, like... I'm going to practice this, okay? But maybe there needs to be, like, an internal layer of walls and then, like, L's back and then, like, walls on the outside of that. Maybe that's the way that I do it. And then... Then maybe I could do, like, a culverin or something. Maybe that would make sense. Because it, it just feels like once they're in on the walls, like, that, or in, inside the walls, it's it, just over, right? But if we can get, like, the battering rams to come inside our walls and then take them out from the inside... Then that can give us a real advantage. And it's only going to cost us like an extra 400 stone. The only issue is you're going to have to double wall it. And you probably want to leave a little bit of space in there. So in, in this situation, if I was going to redo it again, I mean, knowing what I know now, it, it, it doesn't matter. Dude, the, okay, so this juicy legacy player just went 3TC into a farm boom, into Imperial, into... Just, just kill the guy with bombards. Respect. Respect. I wish we could see the sacred timer. We can't, but we can see that there's one sacred site that has been captured. So yeah, I, I think like right here, so maybe like make one set of walls around this and then like a second set of walls and then make probably regnets on this side. I don't, I don't really know. I guess like my town center's down here, so you probably want to do that. But even then, like these Ghazi Raiders really messed me up. I should have just committed to this stone wall here on the outside. I don't think it really changes anything, right? Because the, um, because the, oh, actually he was on the sacred site for a bit. Let's have a look here. 1330. So he's holding it now for, for, from 1330. I think he gets these on. So he's held it for seven seconds now. Now it's held again. Yeah, it's not a huge amount of time, but he is killing Vils, right? And it's like, it's it's just one of those things where Vils should have been inside building the wall. They weren't inside building the wall. Um, you know, and then actually, you know what? This is a fair bit of time that they're buying right now. And it, it all just comes down to, like, me being a little bit silly with stone walls. I think as soon as... Do I look for the in, the walls sooner than Imperial? I could, maybe. And I guess the other thing to note is, like, I probably want to use my King's ability and then see who is going age four and then put gates towards those people. So in this situation, I know purple's to the north and I, I would just chill right now, okay? But... Because bombards are going to be my main threat. Now, I don't think there's any way I can... So now that he's Imperial Age, that should be... Okay, I throw a gate down here. Siege Workshop's coming up. I should go straight into a Culverin. There's three minutes until Sacred Victory. So I've already been delayed by what feels like maybe 30 seconds. We pop that. We see... Okay, Myriad's down here. That's where we, we're going to expect him from. And we've got, like, the important upgrades that are coming through here. But still, I feel like we don't have enough time to get these upgrades in. Like, my back timing is a bit slow. And maybe that's because I'm going so heavy on the stone in this transition period. I don't know exactly what the reason is that it, it's feeling late. I, I know, like, as an example, Corvinus doesn't take his Sacred Sight until he does it, until he gets his L's back up. But I feel like you're kind of delaying it. So th th this right here should be an indicator. Like, Imperial Age, three Siege Workshops. This should be like, okay, cancel. Just get a Culverin out. 
sit here with the gate. He's going to push it. And when he does, you just come up here beep, 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 and, and pick him off, right? Like that, that's what it should be. That, that's easy to see, right? That, that's a big threat. Now, let's take a look at Myriad. Maybe Myriad's got scouts in position and he just knows that the bombards are, are working me down. Maybe that's what he's doing. How's Myriad doing, by the way? He's Did he just go 2TC Juicy? Yeah, he just did 2TC Juicy Legacy. I like the positioning on his farms, though this is a really bad style of granaries, I think. I'm 99% sure this is not a good style. Especially for FFA, where you're going to be going into lots of farms. Like, I'm talking 100 plus. Not, not a good layout. Dude, why can they see the wall? Even though it's so far away. I, I really dislike that. I mean, once those internal walls are done, like, that's it, right? So now that Bombards are out... Yeah, th th this should have been a reaction right here. One minute until Sacred... So th this should be 30 seconds right now. Like, I, I should be sitting probably even less than 30 seconds now that I think about it. Because Purple was on the Sacred Site as well as Red. Both of them were on this Sacred Site. And I, 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 I tried to be you know, cheeky and or cute and save the villagers that were outside the wall. I tried to bring them in and then build the wall. But what I didn't count on was just, you know, the AI is absolutely dog shit. And I'm going to bring them inside the wall and then I'm going to tell them all to build this wall segment and they're just going to like, they're, they're all literally just going to build this wall segment instead of branching out into the other walls. Uh, pause, pause, pause. I, please don't go this fast. <sighs> I hate this for, for replays. Um, I'll put it in... 4x speed. I mean, this is already enough, right? Like, five bombards is plenty. But Myriad's just kind of run up here, and I know he's got the scout with his army, but he, he brought that with his army. Actually, I take it back. There are, there are battering rams here, but I mean, this was already too late, right? Like, th th you weren't getting through here. Um, well played by him to, to come up to this position, though. It's gonna go super fast. Yep, nothing we can do about it. It's on one-fourth movement, or one-fourth speed, but nothing we can do. Yeah, so maybe, like, an internal set of walls could help here. I think you want to keep the town center kind of close. It definitely needs to be, obviously, needs to all be connected. Actually, the TC's got a pretty big radius on it, doesn't it? When it comes... Yeah, this is huge. So this... The town center doesn't even really need to be close. And you can see, like, this down here. Like, we can just block this with, with Vils. Um, this is super, duper easy to block. But... Yeah. I, I think we were pretty close there. I'm, we almost had it. We almost had it. Anyway, we'll leave it there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.